Complete Virtual Prototyping the ANSYS vision of simulating whole systems using comprehensive integrated multiphysics. In the next few minutes, you'll see this vision come to life as we simulate a Cummins generator set by combining 3D physics, system engineering, and embedded software control with system level analysis. Gen sets are used to supply backup power or continuous power in industrial and residential applications. A genset has several major subsystems, including engine, alternator, cooling system, chassis, and electronic controls. All work together in an overall system. As we will illustrate, complete virtual prototypes can be used throughout the development process to evaluate, optimize, and validate system performance. Now let's review some specific requirements for designing and simulating a genset. All of these requirements, from power, engine speed and temperature through seismic, wind and snow load, can be imported and maintained in ANSYS SCADE system. In addition to maintaining requirements, SCADE provides a model-based engineering environment for creating system architectures, defining interfaces and allocating functions. Shown here is a typical genset boundary diagram created in ANSYS SCADE, accurately representing the interactions between various components. System modeling and simulation can be used throughout the design process to understand and optimize the complex interactions of subsystems and engineering domains. Models can be described at varying levels of fidelity and detail and can be used to evaluate architectures, size components, optimize performance, and validate system operation across a range of conditions. Once the interfaces of the generator components have been defined, we can perform 0D behavioral modeling simulation of multiple domain views in ANSYS Simplorer. Within the generator set, an internal combustion engine drives the generator to produce electric power. Using computational fluid dynamics and detailed chemistry and kinetic simulation, highly accurate combustion models can predict engine performance and emissions, including soot production. A byproduct of combustion and motion is heat. Here are images of a cylinder head, including the coolant fluid flow, showing temperature, deformation, and thermal stress produced by simulations in ANSYS fluent and ANSYS mechanical. We now turn our attention to the alternator. ANSYS provides a complete design flow for electric machines that progresses from analytical design sizing to rigorous electromagnetics design to fully coupled electromagnetic, thermal, stress, and acoustic physics modeling. ANSYS RM Expert provides fast calculations of machine performance. Detailed 2D and 3D models can then be passed on to ANSYS Maxwell for detailed finite element simulation of electromagnetic effects. We will now focus on the electronic control of the genset. A speed controller and circuit breaker algorithm are modeled in SCADE Suite to produce the embedded code that controls overall operation. SCADE Suite provides a model-based development environment to design, verify, and generate embedded software for critical applications. Individual components cannot be optimized in isolation. ANSYS provides a broad collection of reduced order modeling techniques to create accurate system level representations from detailed 2D and 3D simulations. These reduced order models can then be integrated at the system level in order to verify that requirements are satisfied. Late stage design problems often arise during the integration of components and subsystems. System modeling and simulation helps to identify and resolve these problems earlier, as well as providing a platform for continually validating system performance versus requirements. With complete virtual prototyping, ANSYS can accelerate the design process, drive collaboration, predict design challenges early in the process, and maximize domain-centric expertise. Go to ANSYS.com to learn more about complete virtual prototyping.